first of all, congratulations on, on a 21 win season following in the footsteps of Coach Abe and what she was able to do. That's a good job getting back to the big dance. Thank you. I appreciate it. What was your reaction last night as my follow up when you saw your name come up next to Connecticut, the, the overall number one seed? Well, clearly I was a jinx, I suppose, because I, I still don't really understand it. I, I, I thought there was no way, uh, considering that there's like three schools with RPIs over 100 points higher than ours, uh, meaning you know, the lower the RPI, the, the, the better you are uh, in the standings. And, you know, for us to be Connecticut, I, I just, I thought for sure we would be a 15 seed. We would be actually the highest RPI of the 15 seed. I couldn't agree more. I, I, I was. So it doesn't really make sense. I'm not really sure how they chose that. But, you know what, if you're going to be a 15th or 16th seed, I guess, uh, silver lining would be at least you get to play on the biggest stage and probably the one game that, any, you know, if anybody's going to watch uh, a 15 or 16 matchup, it would be the team that plays Connecticut. So, no, no question. And and you and you get the you get the opportunity to do that. I get the opportunity to call a game uh, involving Connecticut. So I guess there are some silver linings there. What what is your message to to your team now as you prepare for Connecticut? Um, you know, the Norreaser out there has kind of kept us from doing uh, the amount of preparing today that we would like to do. But we sent them film and. Uh, they're going to be watching that and mentally preparing, I guess, today so we can get back on the court tomorrow. But I think the big message is, you know, we're going to play hard and we're going to approach this like any other game. We have to. And anything can happen in basketball. That's the greatest thing about our sport. So we just we have to go into the game with confidence and just playing with nothing to lose. I would, I would think that's the key, key. If I were coaching your team, I would, I want to make sure the temperature of my team was. Look, I know we're playing Connecticut, but we got to go out play, play the way we have been playing. We've played well this year. You need to make sure your team has confidence, right? If you don't have Absolutely. confidence going in this game, you might get whacked really early. Right, correct. And that's one thing I like about this team, and I think that that you, know, you mentioned before, before that just with the multiple championships they. They do have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, and I think that, you know, I can hopefully use us, you know, being put as the, maybe the bottom 16 seed as a little bit of a fire, you know, in the tank as far as, you know, that's not, you know, they didn't really necessarily give us a lot of respect by doing that, so let's go out and see what we can do and hopefully make it a great game. And again, in basketball, you know, anything can happen, so we're going to hope to be on the winning end of it, although it is a long shot. There's, there's no question. But uh, look, you, you're, you're in the, you're in the big dance. Uh, that's six straight trips for this U Albany women's basketball team and program to the NCAA tournament. Uh, talk about your team a little bit, uh, Coach Mack, and certainly one player that we've seen over the years, and she would be one that hopefully makes some early shots for you. Amani Tate, your senior uh, from the Bronx, who a double-digit scorer all year long and has, has played well for you. Yeah, and I think I'm most excited, in a sense, for her in this game because, again, pursuing uh, a professional level of playing basketball is, is in her dreams, and that's really what she wants to do. And this gives her that opportunity to play uh, among some of the great players that, you know, year in and year out, Connecticut produces multiple professionals that go on and play in the uh, WNBA. And so now she's going to be on a stage with them and be able to truly – compete with them, and I think that she's going to be extremely fired up. And she's been so consistent offensively throughout this year that I don't expect anything different from her in this game. And as the only other senior on this roster, because uh, it's a young team, I mean, you got a sophomore and, and, and junior here, and, and your point guard, uh, Terp Chich, who's had a good year from Hamilton, Ontario, is a freshman. The, only, uh, the, the senior that we follow, the other senior, is Cassandra Edwards, uh, 5'11", senior forward. Right, and Bailey Hickson is Bailey another Hickson, she's also a senior. Yep. Yes. So, so hope- um, they're all, and like you said, they've been there. They've been on, you know, this is their fourth straight trip, so they're kind of like veterans, and they're explaining to our younger players. I heard them telling them last night, you know, hey, Connecticut laces them up and uh, just like we do, so we're going to go out and we're going to play hard. And I thought it was good. They were already sending a good message to our younger players. And how do you think UConn, will prepare for you Albany. He doesn't seem like a coach, Coach Mack, that will take that will allow his players to take anybody lightly. 
No, and, you know, I've heard him, you know, say multiple times, especially approaching these first few games of the NCAA tournament, you know, he doesn't just want to uh, win in advance. He wants to dominate and conquer. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he does not – he looks at these first couple rounds of statement games and he doesn't want to just kind of beat people. He wants to try to blow them out of the water. So, you know, that's something that we're going to face and hopefully – like, no, I don't think necessarily he'll look over us, but I'm, I am sort of hoping that he's preparing for the next game and, and, you know, maybe guarding us in his preparation for future games as opposed to just concentrating solely on us. And either way, though, we've just got to go play. Hey, I said this uh, in the first hour of our show this morning as we t- we talked to you all with women's basketball right away this morning with the, the selection show last night at, at SEFQ in the Hall of Fame room. But I said, Coach Meg, if you can just have, make some early shots, you know, like not not have it like a 14-0 run to start the game. Have have one of your seniors, you know, Bailey Hicks and knock down a three or Amani Tate, you know, make a, a baseline jumper, something to get you on the board, to get the confidence level where it needs to to be and, and at least hang around for a little while. Right, I agree. I think that there can't be any hesitation in our game. We just, you know, when, when we get an open shot, we can't even think for a second about not taking it. We've got to take the open shots. When we give them, we're not going to slow it down. We're not going to try to limit possessions. Uh, if anything, we're just going to we're going to play and, you know, maybe have a couple tricks up our sleeves in the meantime. But just, you know, hope. Like you said, confidence is going to be everything, and we got to hope we're hitting shots. Yeah. I mean, w- one thing I think, and it's easier said than done, but not be in awe of this Connecticut team. Like, oh, they won 100 and, uh, 107 straight wins, and they've won four straight national titles and 11 national titles overall. I mean, that's kind of stuff that you don't really need to be thinking about. Again, easier said than done, but I, I think the less talk of that, the better. Right. I think, you know, one of the things that is going to be exciting for our players, but I do think it's going to bring, you know, they played at Syracuse last year, and again, I I saw the crowd and whatever. It's going to be nothing like the way it's going to be at Connecticut in stores. They're, uh, you know, I've, I've when I was a young coach, that was probably the first major crowd I'd ever gotten to be in front of as a coach. And it's electrifying as far as, like, the adrenaline and the amount of just excitement that's in the air because when you have, you know, 13,000, 14,000 people cheering, even though they're not even cheering for you, it's still so exciting and electrifying. I'm really excited for our players to get to have that experience. Well, as I and mentioned, hopefully it doesn't shake us up. Hopefully it drives us to just even be better. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, have a great game, Coach. Great season, no matter how this one plays out. The fact that you came in first year, picked up where Coach Abe left off, winning season, and and here you are back in the NCAA tournament. It's kind of like an annual tradition over there at UA for the women's <laughs> program. So, uh, congratulations on all of that. We'll see you out in stores and uh, look forward to it. Thanks. I appreciate it. See you then. Thank you, Coach. We'll have the uh, call of the game beginning with the pregame show at 1030 and then the play-by-play at 11 right here on 104.5, the Team ESPN Radio.